In this video, we are looking at angles of elevation and depression. So an angle of elevation is an angle looking up, measured from the horizontal. So a way to remember this is when you're feeling elevated, things are looking up. So as you can see in the diagram, it's from the ground, you're looking up at something. That is your angle of elevation. The next we're looking at is your angle of depression, and this is the angle looking down, measured from the horizontal. So when you feel depressed, depressed, things are looking down. Hence, an angle of depression is looking down at something. So we're going to cover some questions here. And usually these type of questions are word problems. So Delilah stands 800 meters from the base of a building. She finds that the angle of elevation of the top is 9 degrees. Find the height of the building. So sometimes these involve creating a diagram. So I've started one here. And we need to finish it by making a triangle and then writing where our angle of elevation is. So to begin with, we'll start by making a triangle. And then it says the angle of elevation. So we know Delilah is looking up. So we'll be looking at this angle here. And that is 9 degrees. The next thing we know is she's 800 meters away. So 800 meters. We need to find the height, so that is x. And remember, when you're doing these trigonometric uh, questions, what you need to find is your first step is to label your sides. So we have a straight opposite, so O, and then we have an angle, a curved angle here, so that's adjacent. We have O and A, so we know if we're using so ka toa, we have an O and an A, so we're using TOA. So tan theta equals O over A. So we have tan 9, because at this point we're just substituting. E equals my opposite, so X over 800. We multiply the 800 up. But they cancel out. And we're left with x equals 800 tan 9, which you can put in the calculator. And you get 126.7 meters. So the building here is 126.7 meters. So we're going to look at another question here. So we have from the top of a 200 meter tower, the angle of depression of a car is 48 degrees. How far? from the foot of the tower is the car. So again, here we have a word problem. I've started my sketch, and what we need to do is finish by creating our triangle. Like that. We have an angle of depression. So what I'm gonna do is an angle of depression is looking down from the top of the tower. So what I wanna do up here is make a dotted line going across because our angle of depression is this angle here, 48. Now, there's two ways you can use this. That 48 at this point is not very helpful. Oh, before I go in, let's put our 200 meters here. We need the triangle, the angle to be inside our triangle. Now imagine also this is a right angled triangle from the middle of the tower also. All right, so 48 degrees. We have what we call an alternate angle here, which means that this angle here is going to be 48. Or what we can do, let me backspace these to get rid of the orange so that we know that's 48 if we use an alternate angle. Otherwise, we can finish it off by finding this angle, I'll change colors, this angle up here, because we know that that is going to be a right angle. And a right angle is 90 degrees, so 90 take away 48 is 42. So now we have two angles we can work with. I'm going to work with the red angle. So we are trying to find the how far the car from the... Oh, so 200 goes over here, actually. X here. Opposite adjacent. So we're using tan again. So tan theta equals O over A, tan 48 equals 200 over our X. 
And if you remember, if your unknown is on the bottom, we can use the trick and just swap these positions. So we get x equals 200 over 1048, which you can put straight into the calculator and get 180 meters. So to recap the video, an angle of elevation is the angle looking up. And the way you remember is when you're feeling elevated, things are looking up and your angle of depression is looking down. When you're feeling depressed, things are looking down. Now remember with an angle of depression, there is sometimes that extra step you need to do to make it find an angle that is useful where you can use an alternate angle or you could find the angle adjacent to it by finding 90 takeaway, the angle of depression.